Hello everyone, I'm Georgia Henderson, Public Information Director. Welcome to the Douglas Home and Mind Show. We are still fairly into the new part of the new year, but we have some great and exciting events that maybe not so new and some are to share with you today during the show. We'll be back with more um, information and more guests right after this break. back. Thanks for continuing to watch and joining me on the show today is Bonnell Thomas who is the Media Relations and Event Coordinator for the City of Douglas. Bonnell, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Georgia. Glad to have you here and um, you're a pretty familiar face to the show. I know we pull you on here sometime <laughs> to talk about events and you filled in right. as guest host for me one time and I yeah. appreciate that. But the reason we asked Bonnell to come on the show today, we wanted uh, her to share information with you all about an upcoming um, program that we have that's called the Douglas 101 Citizens Academy program. And if you will, tell everyone uh, what that program is all about and who can be a part of it. It is a program that we started a few years ago mm -hmm. to try to help engage our citizens and allow them to come in and, and see what we do as far as day-to-day, -day, our different departments, and, and help them understand a little bit more about why we do things like we do and, and just help them you know, learn some information about our local government. Okay, well some common questions people may have, um, is there a certain age limit for this program? Yes, you do have to be age 18 or older and we do ask that you attend all sessions. All sessions are normally held on a Tuesday beginning at 6 p.m. and it normally runs about two, three months. It, it's not too long of a mm -hmm. session and, and we try to keep it under two hours each night whenever we um, have the meetings on Tuesdays. I know one of the rules that when, when we started this program, I guess about what, five years ago? ago right. um, and we've had like three successful classes mm -hmm. to make um, yeah. uh, first of all we need a minimum of how many for the we need class? at least 12 12 for the class we had a rule that you must live inside the city limits but we've kind of broken that rule mm -hmm. because we found that there are people who have ties to the city and mm -hmm. does business here and and they may not live here but they want it to be a part of the class so right. we do allow people who do not live in the city limits to attend the course. Yes, anybody in Coffee County can will be more than happy to have you attend. And it is a free class, so mm -hmm. like I said, as long as you're 18 years and older and live in Coffee County, it's, it's a wonderful class to go through. And, and even I, whenever we first started, I learned something new about the city, different city departments. Well, and I, I must say that I do too, and <laughs> I, I, we all, we have sat through mm -hmm. all of them. And each time you do learn more about uh, the city departments, we have like 15 city departments. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the mayor and commission. So um, as citizens sign up, they learn about the roles right. of the mayor and commission, the roles and functions of each department. So it's very informative. It is. And, and then we also, as, as far as like, even though we do have the classroom setting, we do um, take all the participants out and, and actually visit some of the different departments like uh, the wastewater treatment plant, um, the natural gas facility, um, different, different areas that we can take them out and let them actually see some hands-on and we also even bring in some big heavy-duty equipment that Public Works has so okay. so it's not just a classroom setting which makes it a little more fun. Now how much time is left for registration and where could people register? How could they find the forms? We will take registration up until we say that we can't have any more which I mean I wouldn't want a class any more than 20 to 25 and you can find the registration forms here at, um, at our offices located at the Public Information Information office at 211 South Gas and also you can go to our City of Douglas website www.cityofdouglas.com and up at the top just click under the City Services tab and you should see a drop down box and be able to um, to select Citizens Academy program. All right so if anyone is interested if you're 18 and older go to our website come by the Public Information Office inside the uh, Ashley Slater House 
um, or give us a call 383-0277 we'll be glad to email for it the form to you but please get registered before um, February 28th if you are interested in this program well we want to shift Blundell now and talk about the upcoming our second annual Bikes, Bikes Blues, Blues and Barbecue, and barbecue. Festival <laughs> give us the dates and locations um, Bikes Blues and Barbecue this year will be held at the Douglas Municipal Airport mm -hmm. um, they, it will be held on April the 10th and the 11th on April the 10th our hours will be 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. and on April the 11th our hours will be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay for mm -hmm. general people coming out to attend Forest Gated Mission mm -hmm. what can they expect? Gated Mission is five dollars per person three dollars with a military ID and 12 and under are free so um, we hope everybody will come out and support us this year. Well I will say um, <laughs> Last year, uh, Last the rain year. got us. Mm -hmm. We were, we had a rain out event. Um, we can't control Mother Nature. Right. Uh, that's out of our control. That's, that's the Lord's business that's when it right. rains and all. But we're going to try again because we really do believe this is a great combination of events for uh, this community and surrounding other communities. So share with us what the lineup, what what the uh, festival will consist of? Well, um, on Friday, we'll start off at 6 p.m. with our entertainment schedule, and we have um, live entertainment from 6 p.m. up until 1045 that night. And our main, um, our main entertainment that night will be Albert Castilla, and he is a great blues band, which we have great blues bands, mm -hmm. period, lined up. And um, we just hope everybody will come out and enjoy the free music. Uh, we'll also have different vendors, general vendors, food, arts and craft vendors. We'll have the barbecue team set up, cooking already. Um, some of them will be, you know, getting their meat ready and, and getting ready for the actual barbecue contest on Saturday. And we'll have other activities going on. Um, last year we had rock climbing, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll have different things going on that everybody will be able to enjoy, kids and all. Well, I consider this categorized as festival like a super or a mega event for our is. community so mm -hmm. yes we're as the city of douglas and the public information department we're kind of steering it and uh, leading in the coordination but there are many all the city departments are involved and we also have some community partners who are involved helping to plan different aspects of mm -hmm. the festival so we'll start with the uh, barbecue portion. We partner with the Georgia Barbecue Association mm -hmm. and um, so tell us about the competition and registration with that. This year we do, we have um, two categories mm -hmm. that you can cook in. So if somebody that's that's not a professional team or that has not participated in a barbecue contest before, we will have a, a, a category called Cooking for Fun mm -hmm. and teams can enter. Um, we've already got one team that's entered and, and we'll have more teams come in as, as it gets closer to date. We've learned with the barbecue teams that they like to wait until it's closer to yes. day before they yes. set anything in the stone. But um, the Georgia Barbecue Association, we would not be able to pull this event off without their help. And they are really great partners, and we appreciate them. And we have those forms online. If we do. We have interested. those forms online. You can go to www.cityofdouglas.com slash bbbfest. <laughs> that, that is it. Okay. But, um, we do. We have all kinds of forms on that page. Okay. And the car show, tell us about that and how... Um, Napa Auto Parts has gotten involved. The car show, uh, once again, we are fortunate to have great partners. Um, Brooks Auto Parts and Napa are helping to sponsor it, and, and they actually pull all of it together from registration to trophies to, you know, organizing the whole end of the car show event. So, so we're really, really fortunate to have uh, Brooks Auto Parts helping us with okay. that. Okay, excuse me for that. Well, we do thank um, Don Brooks and his team with Napa for their involvement with organizing the car show component of the festival. Mm -hmm. Now we also have motorcycle events. Tell us about those. We do. Um, on Saturday beginning um, that early that Saturday morning about 8 a.m. we will have a poker run and we will also have um, later on that afternoon after the poker run a motorcycle show and different events, motorcycle games that people who, who ride bikes then can come out and enjoy that, that aspect as well. Mm -hmm. So really there's just different events and activities some, mm -hmm. uh, it, it truly the name bikes, motorcycles, blues, barbecue, but then some of the unsaid out of the uh, title of the festival, we also have an air show. 
We do that. Excuse me, um, I'm sorry, not an air show. Air, aircraft e exhibit, exhibit, static mm -hmm. display, yes. So um, tell us about that. You say it's vintage. Okay, um, there is going to be a vintage aircraft aviation display. And, and again, World, the World War II Museum helps us out with that, the Flight Training Museum. And also, the World War II Museum will be open that day for tours on both days. That is true. And I, as I understand it, um, if anyone want to go and tour the museum that day, the tour is only $3. Right. It is well worth it to go in there. There's so much history mm -hmm. packed into that museum. And matter of fact, later on the show, in this same show today, we're going to talk to some of the members from the museum about okay. their programs out there. Uh, let's see. So we talked about the motorcycles, the car show, the airplanes, the barbecue, the blues music a little blues bit. Blues music. Um, can you tell us the, the full lineup? Do you have that schedule? I do. Um, uh, for Friday and Saturday? On Friday, um, beginning at 6 p.m., we'll have... Jerica Singleton from Jackson, Mississippi. He'll be on stage from 6 to 7 p.m. Then right behind him we'll have um, a, a really good uh, lady group, Samantha Fish. She's from Kansas City and she'll be on the stage from 7.30 to 8.45. And then our headliner band again will be Albert Castilla and he'll be on stage from 9.15 to 10.45. So we have a lot of entertainment lined up on Friday night and then let we'll me, follow that up with Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Earlier in the show I think you said that we'll start off everything on Friday uh, 6 with the entertainment but we do want to know the the gates open at 1 right 1 yes. p.m. on the Friday. The gates will open at 1 p.m. on Friday we just will not start with the blues music until later on that afternoon okay but the gates open at 1 p.m. and and other than the blues music beginning at 6 p.m., everything else will be open full swing. Wonderful. Um, okay. And then Saturday, uh, starting at 9.45 Saturday morning, we'll have the One Way Out Band out of Nashville, Georgia. And then we'll have the Daddy Mac Blues Band, who was actually scheduled to appear to appear last That's year. That's correct. But unfortunately, we had to call and, and let him know that we were not going to be needing him last year. Um, Daddy Mac Blues Bands will be on the stage from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Followed by E.G. E. G. Kite and the Blue South Band, who is from Dublin, Georgia. So we're really looking forward to hearing from them. E.G. Kite will be on stage at 1230. And then our Saturday Headliner Band, they did an awesome job last year, <laughs> even in the rain on Friday night. So, of course, we had to have them back. And they are a really good blues band out of Savannah, Georgia. Victor Rainwright. Rainwright. The Victor Wainwright Band. I got a little tongue twisted. <laughs> um, they tie, will yeah. be on stage beginning at 2.15 yes. on Saturday. Okay. And and if you haven't heard of any of these people who are singing or any of these groups, you, you definitely want to come out and not miss this. YouTube them. Go to our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You can find out more information about them. But I just want to personally thank uh, Mr. Don Lewis, who is a former uh, resident of Coffee County. Yes. He and his wife, Mary Ann Rosemary, recently uh, moved from this community but he still has an arm in help and he was he very does. instrumental in um, you know identifying these bands mm -hmm. and um, helping to negotiate the contracts to bring them to our community so Don if you're watching um, from the internet we thank, thank you, you for your support <laughs> with that yes um, but um, the, the blues music the car show motorcycles barbecue mm -hmm. I tell you this is a, a festival please mark your dates for April the 10th and 11th 2015 for the Douglas Bikes Blues and Barbecue Festival. And I want to add just one more thing before um, before we close out talking about the Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. Um, mm -hmm. as, as we were talking about community partnerships, yes. we have sponsors that there is no way that we could pull this off and without them. And just real quick, our, our sponsors are Douglas National Bank, uh, McCray Coca-Cola, More Than Graphics, Napa and Brooks Auto Parts, Aniston's Restaurant, the Southern Eagle Distributing, Premium Water, Southwire, Broadcast South LLC, and on media, and of course, again, the Georgia Barbecue Association and the City of Douglas. So without without our partnerships with them, I there's no way that we could do this. Yes. And, and, and it's luckily not, they help us out. <laughs> yes, and it's not too late if someone would like to um, still say, hey, how can we help you all out with a cause for uh, bringing this event to mm -hmm. the community and, or producing it, carrying it out, give us a call. We will share with you the help that we need and we oh, thank yes. these sponsors who have already stepped up to support this event for the community. And we and, do, we have several sponsorship levels, so no sponsor is too low, believe me. We'll, right. we'll take it. We take it all. We take <laughs> And we also um, 